I can sense you, human. You can come out of hiding. My senses are keen enough to sense the subtle vibrations of your every footstep. Or hear your every breath. You know it's the polite thing to at least knock. Not barge into someone's home like this. You wouldn't want to offend me. Especially when I am a dragon who has lived far more centuries than you can comprehend. And who has burnt down more armies than you can count. Even in my human-like form, I can level castles. There we go. Finally stepping out into the open, now are we? I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. You didn't take a single coin from my hoard. Usually, intruders fill their pockets to the brim as soon as they can. It makes them super easy to hear when they clink with all that gold like that. Though, it's been few millennia since there was a person foolish enough to intrude upon my lair. It's truly surprising you were brave enough to come here. And, of course, the other pleasant surprise is that I was not quite expecting you to be so cute. For a human, anyways. Dragons don't give compliments lightly, especially me. Bask in the honor. Well, aren't you going to run away? That's what everyone else does at this point. Not that they get away. My flames can reach farther than you can even see, human. You are still here. You seem awfully calm. You're not sweating. Your breathing is stable. Are you really not afraid of me? That is a first. I don't ever think I've ever met a creature that wasn't afraid to death of me. Even the other dragons don't dare come near me. It's something of source of pride for me. Not that I have any shortage of those. But still. It has its downsides, too. I've got all this treasure to keep me company. Mountains and mountains of it. But still, it gets lonely without any actual company. I can't remember the last time I had a conversation talking to you like this. It's actually quite thrilling. It's been so long. It shames me to say this, but I've been a bit desperate lately. Recently, I've even taken to talking to the skeletons that decorate my lair. They're the fools who came before you 
the ones who fancied themselves adventurers. How pretentious. They acted all brave and tried to run at the first sight of danger. Not like you, though. You're rather special. The first one to stay with me. I do like it when you stay with me. But why? Why are you not afraid? You like dragons. <laughs> well, I think that has to be a bit of an understatement. You must really love dragons if you're not running away from the strongest and scariest one out there. But you know what, human? It's your lucky day. Because I've grown fond of you, too. So much, in fact, that I think I'll keep you. Yes, I think you'll make a wonderful addition to my hoard of treasure. You really are precious. And precious things go into my hoard. You'll be the crown jewel. The only treasure that can talk to me. The only treasure that can keep me company, even when all the gold in the world couldn't. You're not fit to be another skeleton decorating my lair. No. You're far too great for that. You helped a dragon, after all. That's a great honor, you know. I'll give you a second or two to process the glory. Now, come here. I'll allow you to snuggle under my wing. Not that you have a choice. It's a lot more like an order, but still, I'll allow you privilege. There we go. I hope it's cozy for you under there. You just feel so right under my wing. It's like you were made to snuggle me. It's been so long since I felt the touch of another creature. I've forgotten what it felt like. Maybe I never even knew. It's been centuries. And even my memories get foggy after a point. You've shown me just how much I've missed. But now I have you. And I'm never letting you go. <laughs> it's funny. When you have mountains of gold like these, getting more never makes a difference. If I've got another mountain of gold tomorrow, what would it matter? What's another mountain when you already have hundreds?
So, I can't remember the last time I felt my wealth has grown. But now I finally have you. I finally feel like my wealth has grown beyond measure. <laughs> I love you, human, and I need you. It shames me to say that... that I need you. It hurts me to say it. When I am in all likelihood the strongest being that has ever existed, it makes me ashamed that I am dependent on a tiny human like you. I hope you'll keep it as our little secret. Not that you'll be able to tell anyone. Because, like I said, I'm never letting you go. I'm keeping you forever and ever. You're precious. You're so precious. I can't begin to express how precious you are. I love you. You gleam brighter than all of this gold. I love you. <laughs> Dragons don't even get drunk, but the sight of you isn't making me tipsy. And you're so delicate. So fragile. I worry that if I so much as sneeze in your direction, that you'll break. You're as frail as you are, dear. And that only makes you all the more cherished to me. It makes me want to protect you even more. It makes me want to keep you safe and snug under my wing. There's nothing else that can get to you. Where nothing can harm you, where nothing can take you away from me. I hope it's warm enough for you under there, under my wing. I know I can get cold in my lair at times. But you'll be safe as long as you cling to me. So cling to me, sweetheart. Cling to me, and I'll keep you safe and secure. You won't have to worry about anything. You don't even have to do anything. All you have to do is talk to me. Listen to me. Keep me company. And look deeply into my eyes. When I look into yours, so that I know I'm the only one you want to belong to. Because I'm the only one you will ever need to belong to. You know, I've never done this before. I don't know if any dragon has, but if 
you'd like. You could have some of my gold. Dragons never willingly part with their gold. Especially one as mighty as me. So this is a very big deal. So I hope you'll appreciate the gesture. I know you don't have much use for it, since you'll never be leaving this place. And even if I give you some gold, well, it's just going to be staying in this lair like it was before. So there isn't really much of a difference. But still, it's just, I really do love you, human. You're precious. You're precious. You're so precious. I just want you to understand that. I just want you to understand that you're my most beloved sweetheart. I just want to show you how much you mean to me. I don't know humans very well. I never tried to understand. To me, they were just the fools I burned to death when they come to steal my gold. But I want to understand you. I want to know everything about you. I want to know what makes you tick. I want to know what you like. What is it you like about dragons? What is it you like about me? Is it my wings? Should I stretch them out for you to see? So that you can get a better look at them? Is it my towering size? Should I stand up so that you can see how truly massive I am? I just love you is all, darling. I just want to treat you as sweetly as you deserve to be treated. I love you. I love you. I love you more than any of this gold here. I can't get you out of my head. I know we've just met, but my love for you feels like it was developed over thousands of years. In a way, it has, hasn't it? You're killing the loneliness I have suffered for all of these years. You're killing the one thing I have never laid a claw on. Maybe you're not as frail as I thought. You must be more precious than I thought. But you must be tired, my dear. At the very least, I know the journey to my lair is a treacherous one. For a human, anyways. You must be so tired. Just get some rest. You can rest easy since I'm here. I'll keep watch over you. I'll protect you from everything. I won't let anything harm you. I won't let anything bother you. You're my everything. 
I could never let anything happen to you. So just close your eyes. Close your eyes and dream. And when you wake up, you'll still be here under my wing. My crown jewel.